the one with the blackout is one of the most quotable Friends episodes ever. I've said it before, series one of Friends, the first season is not one of my favourites. Obviously, I like it a lot, but when it comes to ranking them, the episodes are not some of my favourites. But this one, the one with the blackout, I really, I really love this episode. There are so many things that I just quote on a frequent basis. I apologise to anybody who has to be part of that. Directed by the fantastic James Burroughs, who I think is absolutely amazing. There is so much in this that is absolutely brilliant. Needless to say, this is the episode with the blackout. They are all pretty much in Monica's apartment, apart from Chandler, who is stuck in an ATM festival with Joel Goodacre. That was an absolutely terrible impression. He is stuck in an ATM festival with Jill Goodacre, and gum would be perfection. I have to say, that scene where he tells Joey that, and Joey just instantly is able to understand what he says, is one of the most amazing things ever. Just the that instant acknowledgement of their friendship and how how much they work as Joey and Chandler. It just it makes me smile every time I watch it. Across the ten seasons, it's one of my favourite Joey and Chandler moments. So that I absolutely love. Phoebe's New York City has no power and the milk is getting sour, but for me it's not so scary because I stay away from dairy. I love it. It's such a simple song, and yet I it's always in my head, as I'm sure is the case if you're a Friends fan who has seen these episodes so many times. For me, I think it's one of Phoebe's most memorable songs, and maybe one of her first original songs in the season. I'm trying to think of the episodes that precede this. There may have been an original song before that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure somebody can correct me, or I can just go and look it up. But either way, really love that. I have to say as well, credit to the actual filming, uh, the production of this, even though it's really dark for most of the episode, it's very well filmed, very well shot. Everything is clear and easy enough to see, which to be honest, a lot of horror and thriller films could learn a thing or two from because a lot of those films turn the lights down a bit too much and you can't see the action and it makes it very easy to just switch off. Absolutely not the case here. The cat plays a prominent part. Uh, I really like the cat and I have to say it's a little bit creepy. <laughs> I really like it. I wish we had more scenes on that balcony. Obviously over the 10 seasons that follow we do get quite a few scenes on the balcony but never enough. I really love it. I feel like we should have got more once Ross got the apartment across the road. Spoilers I should say if you haven't seen past this episode I apologize. Um but I like that. The other important thing, of course, is Paolo. And I really like the way in which they meet Paolo, obviously with this cat. Paolo, I never actually liked as a character. Uh, Cosimo Fuchio, who plays Paolo, absolutely fantastic. But as a character, he always irritated me. And I think that's kind of the point. We're supposed to side with Ross. But I love what he brought out in Ross and how we could see that jealousy and see the emotion that he felt for Rachel that sometimes he probably wouldn't even admit himself. But I really like that a lot. And obviously Mr. Heckles, Larry Hankin, any episode with Mr. Heckles in it is just brilliant. He was apparently credited as weird guy rather than Mr. Heckles. So I'm not sure if at this stage they had any plans to bring the character back. But it's very quite possible that, you know, they saw Larry Hankin do his stuff with Mr. Heckles and just thought, we have to bring him back. He is brilliant. And I do, I really genuinely love him. I absolutely love it. Um, a pretty fun introduction to Paolo. They could, uh, they could quite easily have, you know, cut Paolo from this if... They found that it didn't work in screen tests, but obviously Paolo is a slightly recurring character. I do think that it's weird that Paolo's in the building, but after, again, spoiler, after he and Rachel stop being him and Rachel, it's not they never like accidentally bump into him, which I think is a bit weird. Maybe he moved. I can't. I can't remember. Um, but I actually, I really, really like this and. Despite the fact it's all set in one place, they edit in a lot of different things and. I absolutely love it. Without question, 
one of my favourite season one episodes, maybe my favourite season one episode, the one with the blackout is absolutely fantastic. 